Having a retro console like this is really cool as long as you're willing to sit two feet away from the TV. If only there was a way to get wireless control easily on our retro gaming consoles. Hello and welcome back to Gears and Tech. We are trying to find a way to use my NES Classic on my projector, but eliminate the short, short, short cable connection for our controller. Now this is a standard Wii type controller plug and it just plugs in like that. Now this is actually a pretty authentic representation of the NES Classic. You see in the old days, your NES did not reach the couch and we didn't have wireless gaming. So it was very common, at least in my house, to have this sitting way in front of the TV with the cord strung way across the floor so that the cable would reach you at the couch. And that's really cool for that nostalgic effect, but sometimes you just want simple gaming wirelessly. And that's where something like this comes in. These are premium wireless controllers. I wanna see if they're any good. We're gonna hook them up and try it on my NES Mini. So the first thing we need to do is open these up. Now this is not a sponsored video. I bought these with my own money on Amazon. If you guys find these things valuable, I will put a link in the description where you can pick up your own wireless controllers. And if you use that link, it actually gives me a small commission as well, which helps to cover the cost of making videos such as this for you guys. So I would certainly appreciate that click as well. A quick look at the box itself. This is very simple packaging. It's just a brown box with kind of like a, it's not even black lettering on here. It's more of like a dark burgundy red. When we look on the back, it does say that it supports Super Nintendo and Nintendo classic game systems as well as PC. So we're gonna explore kind of, it could work on your PC. I didn't buy it specifically for the PC, but it looks like it will work for that. So let's start by doing an unboxing. It's pretty simple packaging. How much of an unboxing could this be? There's one, there's two, and there's the instruction manual. Now, the manual is very basic if I'm kind of checking this out here. It does talk about how to pair the controller, how to connect it, and all of that. If you want those details, you can read them in the instructions, but we're gonna go through connecting all of this in this video anyway. So let's check out each individual controller. So when we pop the controller out here, it also includes a USB cord. It includes a wireless USB dongle, and it includes this guy right here, which is the NES port to USB adapter. Now, this does not feel high quality in any way. It feels like fairly cheap plastic. But when we move to the controller itself, it feels pretty good as far as like how it feels in my hand. Like the buttons feel responsive. It feels exactly how it should. The most important thing for me is this has a built-in rechargeable battery pack. So simply connecting to the USB port in the front We'll charge this up so that it's always ready to go for gaming. Now, many of you guys have already noticed a major flaw in this whole plan right off the bat. And if I hold these up side by side like this, it might be a little more apparent. You guys are saying, well, Anton, that is a NES Classic. The controller that comes with it looks just like this. This is the classic NES controller. You guys noticed that this is the classic SNES controller, Super Nintendo for the rest of those people. Some people thought it was funny that I say SNES, but I think SNES is kind of weird, and I don't think that's how you want to say it anyway. So SNES controller is what we're gonna go with in this video and all future videos on this channel. But here's the secret. You see, the classic Nintendo and the SNES Classic Mini are the exact same piece of hardware. That means that you can actually make this play Super Nintendo games, and the only difference is the controller that you're using. So this is actually already set up to run Super Nintendo games, Nintendo games, Genesis games, TurboGrafx-16, everything that I wanna play in the retro gaming space is already on this device. I needed a controller that added the bumper buttons as well as enough face buttons to play all of those classic games. And that's why I went with the Super Nintendo style controllers instead of wireless NES controllers. If you want wireless NES controllers, those do exist. 
and I will put a link in the description for those as well. But now it's time to go to my computer, hook this all up, and see how well they actually work. Once you've got your SNES or your NES Classic hooked up to an HDMI display of some sort, this is currently hooked up to this monitor. We are not connected to the computer really in any way. I'll turn this off so you can see. So there it is shutting down and we've just got the HDMI input connected. So when I turn it on, it's gonna give you the boot screen. You can see it load up and then we can pair the controller so we can actually use it with our SNES. So we've booted into our SNES. The first thing you wanna do is take the dongle that you got and plug it into the adapter just like this. Now we're not gonna plug it in yet. What we gotta do is put the controller into pairing mode. The way you do that is press select and start and the up button on the D-pad at the same time. And we're gonna do that until the light starts blinking here. So we're gonna go select, start and up. And then you're gonna see there. Now it's blinking fast to say that it is looking for the device. And then when we plug this in, it'll pair up. Now it's paired right away, but now I'm into the system. You can see it's toggling through the different options. Now, if I go to a game like NBA Jam Tournament Edition and start it, this game would use all of the buttons. So we can see if all of these buttons are actually gonna work on our Nintendo. So we're gonna go, I don't know, head to edit, I guess. No, I don't need my initials for record keeping. My team was always the Chicago Bulls, even though you didn't get Jordan. Who do we want? Pippin and Kukoc. Look at those graphics. Look how great this is. Now the nice thing is these are wireless now, so I can go as far away as I want. Now which, who am I controlling? Hey, stop it. Goaltending. So I'm just using all of the buttons here just to make sure they all work. So if I push that, it's doing a thing. I've got the turbo button. So these, the shoulder buttons are working for turbo and the big donk. So it's working really good. Controller input seems negligible. Uh oh, give me that ball. Give me the rock, give me the rock. This is actually really responsive. I'm just, I'm, obviously I'm not trying to run. And we've got, I mean, I've even got Game Boy Tetris on here if I wanted to play that. I got just a bunch of different games. We can go to Street Fighter and just make sure that it's fast enough. I do not think that I'm good enough at Street Fighter for this demo. Game start. Holy, holy. Wow. Okay, you guys saw that all the buttons were working there. This comes with two controllers so you can get a two player game going. And this also works on PC. If you wanted to plug it into your PC and use it for your retro games like that, it will work exactly the same way as we're using it on our NES Mini here. It's time to wrap it all up. Let's go back over to the other part of the studio and finish this up for you guys. Now this experience has actually been pretty good for me as far as how these controllers work. I think they're gonna do exactly what I wanted to and the price can't be beat. They are very, very affordable, especially when you're looking for an aftermarket controller. Add to that the fact that this is a USB adapter. It allows you to use any other controller that you may want as well. If you wanted to use a wired controller of an old PlayStation controller or an Xbox controller, you probably could do that using this adapter. So it's not just for the wireless controllers here, it's also for other controllers as well, which is a really great deal. The price, again, you can't beat the price. These were so affordable and it does exactly what I wanted it to. If you want them, don't forget you can click the link down below and support this channel in the process. Hey, thanks for watching all the way to the end of this video. We hope you enjoy the content in this video and we'd love to have you come back. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. And for those subscribers who are looking for that extra special thing that you can do to support this channel, consider joining our members group. That's where we're building this community, the Gears and Tech community, where we can all enjoy content together. You'll get special perks, which we'd love for you to check out by clicking the link down below. For those of you who are just happy to watch the video, that's okay too. 
you can check out some of our other content right over here, where we've got some previous videos that have already been uploaded and enjoyed by many of our viewers already. We do hope to see you again. This has been Gears and Tech. Have a great day.